In this video, you will learn about difference between Excel functions sort and sort by. So first, let us see how sort function works. So I will construct a formula in cell H2 using sort. Sort, first one is the array, this is the data. So I will select this and in the interest of time, I will give the full row length. So next, I will put a comma. Next one is sort index. Sort index by default, it is one means it is the first column in the array. Next one is the sort order. So one is ascending minus one is descending. So default value is one. So even if I don't give these values, the default values of one will be assumed for sort index and sort order. So let us see what happens. This was sorted based on region, the first column. So you can see here central, then east like that. Now I will sort this based on the customer name. So I will edit this formula. I will add the column number of customer, which is one two three four so i will mention four and sort order i am not mentioning because default is so let us see so now this sort happened on the customer so if you go scroll down see a b c like that now i will sort the list using multiple columns for that i will edit the formula so if i want to sort it based on multiple columns i will use an array as sort index by using a curly brace and i will mention the column numbers as a comma separated list so first i want region that is column number one next i want the product which is column number two and third i want the revenue column which is the sixth column so i'll use six here now i will mention the sort order comma the, as i have mentioned sort index as an array i have to mention the sort order also as an array so we'll start the curly brace close the curly brace so the first column product i region i want in ascending order so i'll mention one second column product i want in ascending order but the third revenue i want in the descending order so i'll mention minus one i'll close the curly brace so let us see what happens so it is sorted on central region first and in the region then product and then in the descending order of revenue so for in central abc it is printing the list within the descending order of the revenue so so it is descending order of the revenue so this is what happens when we use multiple sort columns and sort index now i will show you a limitation of sort function for which microsoft has created a new function sort by so construct the formula using sort so i will select up to quantity and i will sort based on the sixth column which is not selected in the array so i'll mention six let's see what happens it throws error so we can give the sort index which is only part of this array any field or column which is outside this range will not be accepted in sort so that is the sorts limitation so i will use a new function sort by so i will select the same array up to here 567 second is sort order one so sort order one i want it to be sorted based on revenue which is not included in the array and next one is which order so i select descending so this uh, note that this revenue is outside the selected range so i will close the bracket and let us see the result see so it printed the first five columns and sorted based on revenue in descending order so this is the use of sort by so which is not possible using sort so that's why microsoft has created this sort by so i can add more sort columns so for example if i if i select only till d means up to customer up to customer i select and then first should be in the descending order of revenue and next should be in the ascending order of quantity 567 so this quantity is also not part of the selected array and i want it in ascending order so sort a to so range selected is a to d so up to customer it will print the first sort order is revenue in descending descending order next sort order is quantity in ascending order so let's see what happens. see so now it has printed using sort orders which is outside this selected range so that is the use of sort by that's it for now thanks for watching this video please click on like button if you find the information i shared useful and update comments also please subscribe to my channel to get notified about new videos which i will post in future